Reception down here. Yep. Jesse. Hey Simon, I got your email. Just wanted to wish you good luck and let you know I got you covered. Thanks. Nice. I should be able to come to the store after the scan. Don't sweat it. I got Matt and Chris help me out. Matty from SNL? Uh, guess you didn't hear him. He's coming in full time. Work in the comic section. That's Ashley's job. Yeah. Well. You know. Forget it. Not doing her any favors by leaving an empty spot. Not like she's coming back. Well, good luck. Hope they find a way to reverse the whole, you know, dying thing. <laughs> dying thing? You're the worst support ever. <laughs> what should I say? I'll see you later, Jesse. Don't burn the place down while I'm gone. Over and out, buddy. It's cute. I already shipped oh, Jesse and us. <laughs> Jesse and Simon. Hmm. Well. What? Well, you know, it's sad. What, well, that Ashley died? Yeah. Yes. And that I've got a dying thing. Hello? Dr. Munchie? Munchie. We got a serious chase of the Munchies. I feel like turning on light is switches everyone? is a theme this in this place game. Would be busy. I like it. I like a the theme. Hmm. Ooh, should I be sneaky? David Munchie. Paul, where are you? We've got a few hours. We've got a hold of Simon Jack. Let's do this. I saw your laptop in the reception. Are you already here? Call me ASAP. Hi, Paul. Talked to Pace about using the lab this week. I've managed to t book the scanner for tomorrow morning and again on Friday. It's not a lot, but they said that we could use the empty reception area as a kind of office. Kind? Kind of office? It would allow us to use their computers to run models, and also if a time slot opens up, we can get in there and use the scanner rig right away. I thought we could l run some tests tomorrow. We could do a scan of each other to learn the equipment. Mm. Learn the equipment. Mm, I'm going to learn your equipment. It's supposed to be pretty easy. On Friday, I'm hoping Dr. Erin Pete will send somebody over. She has a patient that was recently in a car crash. Should be interesting. Okay. So we're a guinea pig because we're dying already? <laughs> a little bit. Okay, so maybe this is this is the sec- yeah, because it's Saturday, 2nd of May. Okay. Um, I found some extra time in the lab today. Unfortunately, nobody told us about the code change, so I called security, talked to Professor Wei to have them vouch for our project, and finally got a hold of some honcho over at Pace's legal department that could re grant us permission to use the lab. I'm not allowed to repeat the code in mails or text, but I'll leave a note or something in case we forget. A note, let's a note, find the let's code. go find a note. With the code. A note with the code is what do we require to enter the door. Probably. This is the place, right? It must be. Welcome to Soma, the musical. Oh. Let's just call Machi real quick. Great. Got his phone turned off. That's okay. I can figure this out. Just a note. There's a creepy clown painting. Um. Oh, I can jump in this game. <laughs> what button is that? Um, X. What is crouch? Circle. Throw the mug, please. I want to see if they're as sturdy as the quality mugs we have at home. Okay. I'll throw it at a wall. Okay. My old bedroom used to be that colour. Pretty Yay. sturdy. <laughs> I feel like that's something they're probably gonna fix in the next game they're making. Put your scalpel away, the brain can heal itself! 
The brain has an amazing transformative quality, a plasticity that allows it to compensate and even heal itself, explains Paul Bird, a graduate student in neuroscience at York University in Toronto. It is this quality that Bird and his colleague David Munchie, a student of computer science, are hoping to encourage. It's about getting the brain to do the right thing, and we hope to accomplish this with simple things like exercise, therapy, and light meditation. But Munchie and Bird are not looking for a miraculous panacea. It's about finding the optimal treatment for each patient. They start out recording something called a Nakajima Neurograph. It's like a picture that indicates direction, says Munchie. Instead of a static brain scan, the neurograph can tell us which it, where your brain is going. It is not a long forecast, it's about milliseconds, but with the right computer model, Bird and Munchie can then administer all kinds of treatments without risking actual harm to the real brain. We could try giving your brain an overdose of painkillers while running a marathon, says Jess Bird. It's just a computer model. We are able to fail treating you a million times over only to find the right way. And when they do find that optimal treatment, that's when they apply it to the real patient. It's still in the early stages, but their project has caught the attention from Pace Laboratories, who has promised to assist them with both equipment and workspace. We are very fortunate to get all the support, says Bird. Now we just need to get out of the limelight and actually do the work. Okay, so our great doctor is someone who's still studying. They're just a and bunch of students. They're just trying things out. Do you think 2501? Yeah. Let's give it a whiz. One. Yes. I like this a lot more than when games just type it in for you. Ooh. Run, 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 run. Ooh. Ooh. Off. <laughs> <laughs> there goes my brain. Looks a bit like our server room at work. Oh, I forgot you work in a super high tech <laughs> brain laboratory. <laughs> Needles. Uh, put that down again. Just by a computer? Dirty. Okay, you know they're treating you for... <laughs> <laughs> they're treating your brain. You don't want to mess with their computers. Yeah, but now they know that something's really wrong with me. Because <laughs> I'm just in here going... Yeah. Okay, is that... No, that's not your brain. That's okay. someone else's brain. I brought coffee! <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Leave it. <laughs> <laughs> what if I Oh sorry, I missed him. Hold on. <laughs> I can't. There's another class bottle there, you don't have to go all the way back. I've got really stompy feet. <laughs> You're just really getting into character, aren't you? Where's the class bottle? It's on the... <laughs> I'll just try this drill at them. <laughs> zoom, zoom, zoom. Uh. <laughs> hey, asshole! <laughs> okay. This is a serious game. Okay. Serious. You're completely destroying oh, the atmosphere. Didn't hear you come in. Simon Jarrett, right? <laughs> Dr. Come Munchie? In. Well, it's uh, just Mr. Munchie, but I'm working on it. Actually, you're helping me right now. Is this part of your thesis work? Yeah. <laughs> it's a study I'm doing with my colleague, Paul Berg. We hope to design a gentle way to work with brain reconstruction to help people like you. Oh, did you uh, people like take the tracer me. fluid? Yes. Yes, I did. Great. Well, we can start whenever you're ready. I'm nodding because I say yes. <laughs> okay. So, what exactly are we doing? We're going to do a scan of your brain. Then we build a computer model of it and bombard it with stimuli. The program will help us to quickly iterate your treatment plan until it's fully optimized. <clears throat> In short, develop the perfect treatment for your condition. So it's not just a study. This will actually help me. Well, I should hope so. Otherwise, this would be a huge waste of time. <laughs> <laughs> Shall I talk again? 
if you can. You know I have a serious condition, right? You heard about the car crash, the X months to live deal? Yes, I heard. Must be hard having to hear that. As you know, it's because your brain is weakened so much that it can start to bleed every so often. And if it ever gets real bad, it will kill me. Well, we probably can't restore your brain completely, but we should be able to make those X months turn into years, decades even. If you take care of yourself and don't do anything too crazy, we should be able to get you to outlive the best of us. Mm. That's a promise? I really hope you're right about this. Me too. This could make a huge difference for how we treat people with brain damage. So, what do you say? Should we get going? Sure. Let's get started. Take a seat. He's got mad eyes. Hmm. <laughs> that looks like a very nice thing to sit on. Nothing bad will happen. Should I close this door? Yeah. Some privacy. Okay, okay. Have a seat. Oh, I'm scared. <laughs> Anxious patient. Okay. What's up with okay. you today? Okay. Okay. Oh my god, can you just sit down? Just have a seat and we'll be out of here in no time. All right, let me just get this out of the way. You are Simon Jarrett, correct? Right. Toronto, Canada, David Munchie. Born 1988, July 16th. Right. Flat neurograph, version six. Good. All files in order. Will this hurt? It's just a scan. It'll hurt about as much as getting your picture taken. Indians thought cameras would steal their souls. That so? Well, let's hope they're wrong. <laughs> Ready? Say cheese. <laughs> 